Hey guys, Amber Elise here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel where you can find all things hair, makeup, and product review related. So today's video is going to be about the Bath & Body Works Candle Day, or should I say Candle Days, because this year they're going to be doing it for three days. So if you're interested in that, then definitely stick around. Alright, so I'm sure you're watching this video to see any recommendations that I have if you haven't already went. And speaking of, currently as of uh, 2.47, it is Friday and the online sale is completely sold out so you will have to go in store to pick up any of these um, candles that I'm going to show you or any other candles that you had your eye on. They sold out pretty quickly. I believe it started around 5 o'clock in the morning online. I heard there was a lot of site crashes so I just cut all of that out and I went straight in. So like I mentioned before, this year they're going to have three days. So today is Friday. They will have it all the way through Sunday and I want to point out a few quick things before um, I show you guys the candles you want to make sure that wherever your locations are that you're going to be going to shop that you know the hours that they are going to open so I know my location they actually will be opening on um, three different times for each day so this morning they opened at six o'clock tomorrow it's which is going to be saturday they're going to open at five o'clock and then sunday they're going to be open at 10. so you just want to make sure that whatever location that you are going to you want to make sure you know what time they're going to be opening because you're going to want to be able to get in line pretty fast in order to get the candles that you want so like i said my location opened up at six o'clock this morning so i was up bright and early i was number two in line so my sister and i both went together and um we snagged us a pretty good spot in line and also one more thing the limit is 18 candles so if you want to get more than 18 candles you will have to actually check out and leave the store and then come back in that was the requirements for my store so just make sure that you do know there is a cap at the 18 candle mark but if you really just insist on getting more you definitely can go ahead and hop back in line and they will allow you to get more candles and also while finding out the times you want to kind of make sure you know the regulations of what they're going to have all stores are of course requiring that you wear a mask and my location did have six feet distancing um kind of stickers on the ground so you don't have to worry about standing like right on top of anybody but of course each location can be different so just based off of my experience all of the precautions were taking place there was hand sanitizer and they also even offered free mask if you forgot yours so just make sure you remember all of that and if you're still kind of you know worried you're kind of sad that you missed the um sale that they did online and you don't really feel comfortable going in store then maybe you can you know create your list and give it to somebody that is comfortable going in and also make sure you don't forget to use your coupons so i had a ten dollar off a of 40 coupon and i was able to use that on my purchase today so now i'm going to go ahead and hop straight into showing you guys the candles so the first one up is going to be my favorite out of every one that i snagged i actually grabbed two of these and that is going to be the champagne toast so this is what my the packaging of mine looks like and i'll probably be inserting pictures because i know that my phone is not going to focus in on this so this is um it says bubbly champagne sparkling berries juicy tangerine with essential oils so this absolutely smells amazing like i said it was my favorite This one is definitely my favorite. So I'll go ahead and show you the second one as well. So I did go ahead and pick up two of these because this was my absolute favorite. I went to this one first. As soon as I got in the store, I didn't go to any other candle. I made sure I got my champagne toast before any of the other ones. And I also wanted to mention that previously before candle day i actually went in and i smelled a bunch of different candles so that i could go ahead and make a list of the ones that i want so you may not be able to do that now because once you get in store everybody's kind of going to be reaching over each other trying to make sure that they get the candles that they want but if you do have time still i would suggest going ahead and making um, a list so that you will at least have an idea of the type of candles that you actually want and then the next one that i got that is probably my second favorite is the mahogany teakwood 
so this is what the mahogany teak wood looks like and again you may have purchased um, mahogany teak wood or you may be planning on purchase purchasing mahogany teak wood and it may not look like this one that i'm showing you on camera because i did notice that a lot of these different scents had um different packaging they also had an intense mahogany teak wood so you want to make sure that if you only want the regular make sure you are you know kind of making sure you pay attention to that but this is let's see what it says um it is rich mahogany black teak wood dark oak frosted lavender with essential oils and i actually really like this one because to me this one smells like men cologne and i don't know you know every now and then you kind of come across a nice man cologne that really smells good of course i'm not going to wear it but to have a candle that actually smells like that that's what it smells like to me so that's the best way i can describe it and i just love opening these up and just kind of letting the scent really hit so i cannot wait to start burning these candles and i forgot to show you if you care um <laughs> this is what the inside of it looks like so it smells really good i also picked up a couple of more candles that actually kind of have like a man scent cologne to it which i will show you so the next one um that kind of reminded me of that is going to be crisp morning air and this one said it is a crisp fall breeze white oak golden amber wood saffron soft sandalwood with essential oils and this is what the packaging looks like for this one now for crisp uh, morning air i do believe this was the only packaging that i saw for this particular candle so i don't think you have to too much worry about that it says bath and body works and it has like a nice kind of engraving my champagne toast also looks like this and then mahogany teak wood just said bath and body works across the top so again, this does kind of smell outdoorsy, but it also has that kind of um, mahogany smell where it again kind of smells like men um, cologne. And I really like that smell for some reason. So I picked up one of these as well. And then the last candle that I got that reminded me of men cologne is going to be flannel. So I really like the packaging of this. I think it's super cute, super sleek, and it looks really pretty to me, even though it's simple. I really like that about the packaging and it has the engraving with the leaves on this one as well. And then the bottom of this one says it is fresh bergamot, um, heirloom mahogany, soft musk with essential oils. So of course mahogany is in this one. So that's probably why it smells like that. And this one is really kind of on the lesser side of um, the cologne kind of smell. This one really just kind of, this one almost kind of gives me a nice floral smell as well. So I really like this one. I think next to the mahogany, this would probably be my second favorite of the three that I showed you. So again, that is flannel. All right, so next up is going to be one that just reminds you of cooking. I actually have the um, lotion to this one, the hand lotion. So the next one is going to be the strawberry pound cake. And this is from their marble collection. And the packaging is absolutely stunning on this one as well. I really like the packaging for this. So you'll probably see this, of course, next to the rest of the um marble collection and this one just says it is fresh strawberries golden shortcake whipped cream with essential oils and it really smells amazing i'm going to say that about all of these candles because of course if they didn't i wouldn't have gotten them so you know this is just for my particular kind of taste so um i'm kind of trying to describe them as best as i can just in case you didn't have a chance to go in and smell any of these candles before you know going in either later today or um sunday and saturday so this one really has more of a sweeter smell to it the champagne one also had a sweet smell so if you are more of like if you do enjoy baking kind of smells and those kind of sweeter smells without them being too perfumey then this is absolutely going to be perfect for you i really love the lotion to this one so i was this was like this was the second one that i was really trying to make sure i actually got a hold of and then this one is just a plain top so that's pretty much what that one looks like and again this is strawberry pound cake 
Next up is going to be a thousand wishes. This is what it looks like. So you're, you've probably seen the um, body care items that goes along with this. I see it all the time and it's been in Bath and Body Works for quite a minute now. This is um, Sparkle Champagne Almond Cream with Essential Oils and this one gives me more of a perfume vibe. It smells really good. So if you're going for more of a perfume kind of smell, then this one will definitely be perfect for you. Um, again, this is just pretty much what it looks like. Just simple packaging, clear, you can see straight through. And that's pretty much that. You've probably already smelled a thousand wishes because like I said, this one has been around for quite a minute. At least I know the body care line has. So I just, I could smell these all day. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So, you know, I can get these recommendations out to you guys and you will have a chance to put them on your list, hopefully, and try these out. So the next one, we're coming up to the last three of the candles. Now, these three are actually um, my sister's candles. She actually liked these, but I wanted to show these to you guys just because, of course, I will be smelling them as well. So the next one is going to be You're the One, and she absolutely loves this one. So the You're the One candle looks like this. It comes in nice red sleek packaging, and I really love um, the packaging from Bath & Body Works. I think they do a really good job at that. And this one for the description, it says it is white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar with essential oils. And this one has a cute pink color to it. So to me, this one also has a perfume smell to it. This was not one of my fa personal favorite ones, but it doesn't smell bad. So if, again, if you are looking for a perfume kind, I would definitely recommend the You're the One as well as the A Thousand Wishes because they're the closest thing that you're gonna get to the actual perfume smell. So again, that is the You're the One candle. And so the next one is going to be Rose, Water, and Ivy. Now this was a pretty popular, um, a pretty popular scent. I know this was one of the first ones to run out online this morning, so I'm not too sure what it's looking like, how it's kind of holding up in store, but this one is filled with um, soft rose petals, rain-kissed ivy, spring musk with essential oils. So this one definitely smells like rose. It reminds me of any other rose water kind of product that I use. So if you are a, if you do like how those rose water products smell, then you will definitely like this because this is pretty much what it smells like rose water in my opinion. So if you are looking for a rose water scent, then that's going to be the rose water in Ivy. Then now we're down to the very last candle, which is going to be mahogany coconut. And she also ordered some other candles, but they were pretty much the same ones that I had. So this one is filled with creamy coconut, mahogany woods, English lavender with essential oils. And this is definitely, um, you can definitely smell each one of these in here. I can definitely smell the faint coconut along with the lavender and of course the mahogany smell. So I actually really like this one. Um, this is definitely one that I could have picked up, but I felt like I kind of already had enough that kind of, you know, somewhat smelled similar to this or at least enough that had already had mahogany in it. So I really like this one. I think that if you like the smell of lavender, mahogany and, you know, coconut, this is definitely one to give a shot. So that's what that looks like. And those are pretty much all of the candles. So that's pretty much going to be all of the candles that I have for this year's candle day. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you find some candles that you actually want to try out if you haven't already hit up the candle day sale. So um, again, three days this year, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just make sure you know what time your stores are opening. Make sure that you get there early so that you don't, that they don't run out of anything. I know Mahogany Teakwood was one of the ones that went very fast in store so 
um, that was literally like gone within maybe the first 10 seconds. Like everyone ran into that particular candle when I was at the store today. So if you want to try that one, make sure you get up bright and early. I'm pretty sure they're going to be replenishing, you know, throughout the day and they'll probably even save enough to replenish for, um, Saturday and Sunday, but I would not take that chance. I would just go ahead and get there as early as possible. So that way you would have the best chances of actually snagging those, um, candles that you want. You guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video video and if you've already went go ahead and let me know if you plan on going go ahead and let me know and also comment some of your favorite candles down below some that you picked up or some that you have intentions on picking up and we can just go ahead and conversate about that down in the comment section so I'm pretty much going to let you guys go so you can go ahead and get ready to make that list and get ready for tomorrow and I hope you guys get all of the candles that you want and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and feel free to share this video I will see you guys in my next video